Hi guys and welcome to this video. We're solving linear equations with one unknown Kuching. Very exciting. Part of our general maths course. My name is Darren Matsuguru and it is always really good to see you. Uh, have you told your mates about my channel? No? Turn around now. Come on. Just please do me a favour. My mum is sick to death of watching me on the videos. What do you mean my mum's watching? Yes, I know those subscribers on YouTube, I'm fairly sure, are people like my mum have uh, sort of tied in. But if you could click that subscribe button, I'd be deeply, deeply grateful. Thank you very much. Just lets me know you're watching. Nothing more, nothing less. Never going to be rich and never going to be famous. And then there's mathsguru.com where you can click on and it's free to sign up where you get uh, the videos, downloadable notes, time codes, exam questions, so, so much more. Hopefully I'll explain this to you and you'll be like, this is awesome. That's my whole intention to make math easy and not really annoying. What's our learning objective? How to solve linear equations with one unknown. What is this unknown business? Using by hand methods and of course using the CAS because this is a CAS course. Now in previous, we've looked at equations and expressions and we've looked at substituting in. Now we're gonna solve. And if you haven't actually had me uh, before or haven't looked at any of my videos before about algebra, I'm gonna go a little bit weird by going kitty kitties and bunk beds and prison guards and all that type of stuff. Don't worry about it, I'm not losing it. I just try and give a, a sort of a story so you guys can understand a little bit better what it is I'm doing. Alternatively, I may just confuse the life out of you, in which case I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> But don't unsubscribe, please stay subscribed. All right, so what are we gonna do? Uh, unpacking, all right, so obviously there, that's very much what I look like. I've moved house a number of times, including from the UK to Australia. If I see one more packing box, I swear I'm gonna just lose it. I'm gonna end up in a mental home, just rocking gently to myself and singing undoubtedly math songs, all right? Hold on a moment, I'm already talking to myself because I'm in a room and no one's in here, but I'm hoping you're watching, anyway. I like the idea of unpacking things because um, ideally I want to get the letter on its own and I'm really, really sorry because I was a loner at school and God, that was really quite lonely. But I like to think of it as trying to make the letter the loner on its own, right? And in many cases, when you get an equation, it's not going to be on its own. So you have to move things around and get that letter on its own by using some pretty, well, I think, hopefully easy maths. And it's called unpacking because you're just going to unpack or undo things, yeah? What you do need to know about though is reverse operations. And again, you're gonna say, really, are you teaching me this stuff? Yep, I really am. Now obviously, what we should know is that if I have a plus to reverse it, I'm gonna take away. Because they are the opposites of each other. That's what I mean by reserve, reverse. If I have a minus, my opposite is a plus. A times, the opposite of times is divide. And the opposite of divide is times. Now the other two there, we're gonna come through in another video, but it's useful to know that when you have a square, when you have a number with a floaty two, to undo it, you do the square root. Yes, that's that little thing on your thing. And what, likewise, the square root of x can be undone by squaring it. And I've got examples of that in another video. All right, so let's look at it some examples. And there's not many, it's not gonna be a long video. So let's look at this one, x plus six, is equal to 10. Now what do I want on its own? What do I want on its own? X. I want to make X the loner, or loner, I don't know which way the camera is, so I could, that could be a J for all I know, but anyway, let's not just... <laughs> I want the X on its own. Now, because there's nothing stuck to it at this moment in time, that's good. Now obviously when things are sticking to it, I call it kissing, and we leave the kissing couple to the end. It is just awkward to split them up beforehand, but in this situation, no kissing couple, just the plus six. Now, how do you unpack or undo a plus six? I take away six from both sides. Now again, because we have to keep equations balanced, what we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other side of an equation. And so by taking away six, I'm undoing this. Now again, I always tend to just cross that through so that it is no longer there. That leaves the x on its own, but now I have to do 10, take away six, which gives me four. Is that letter on its own? Yes. Is it a loner? Yes. Is there anything else I need to do? No. There we go. Job done. What about this one here? Again, another inverse operation. Oh, look at that. Do you know what? When you do a Google search for kissing, a lot of those images I couldn't put here, but I thought this was relatively child safe. Yes, because the last thing I need is my videos to go viral. No, I want my videos to go viral. What am I talking about? Anyway, uh, in this situation, I've got three. Y is equal to 18. Now, I always think between a number and a letter is a kissy kissy. Why? Well, because it is. If I expand this, there is a three with a kissy kissy and a way. And you can say, what are you talking about this kissy kissy rubbish? <laughs> when I do a card to my mum or my dad, 
Happy birthday, lots of love, Darren. What do I put on the bottom? Lots of kisses. So between the number and that letter is a kissy kissy. And yes, really, I've lost it. If you are still watching this, I will be very surprised. But anyway, I'll continue talking to myself. So what I want on its own, I want the letter to be the loner. So I'm going to now split up the kissing couple. And how do I do that? Well, I obviously want to get rid of this times by three. How do I undo a times? I do the opposite. And so I divide both sides by three. Now again, I'm now going to cross that out because it's gone, leaving the y on its own. And 18 divided by 3 is 6. Is my y the loner? Yay! Job done. Thank you very much. Now obviously we can use the CAS to do these type of questions by using this awesome thing called the solve function. Now, if I have an equation of minus 4 minus 5b is equal to 8, my CAS can solve this by putting that whole equation in. So what you'll notice is, we put solve at the beginning, and you can type it or use the solve function if you're using the TI Inspire. You put the whole equation in as it is. Everything, including the equals, make sure you've got the times is in there. So you'll notice I did not just do 5b. I made sure that I did 5 times b, because CASIs can get very funny with these type of things. The most important thing is once you put the equation in, you have to do a comma to say, well, that's the end of the equation. And now you tell the calculator what letter you want it to find. And because we've used the letter B, I'm going to put the B in there, and ka -ching, out comes the value of minus 12 on 5. Now my calculator's in exact mode, so annoying. In this situation, I would also, your calculator may have given you a value as minus 2.4. Let me just check that that's right, 2.4, yep. So you may have ended up with B as minus 2.4, exactly the same, yes? But it could still have been done by hand, so let's just check. Minus 4 minus 5b is equal to 8. Now, anything that's stuck to the letter by kissing, leave it alone. Break up the kissing couple at the end. So that minus 5 and b are stuck together, leave it. Means I want to get rid of this negative 4. How do I get rid of a minus 4? I add 4 to both sides. You do indeed. So I'm going to add 4 to both sides. That means that that goes, hence I'd cross it through, leaving just the minus of the 5 and the b. And 8 plus 4 is 12. Yes. Now, what's between the minus 5 and the B? It is a kissy kissy. What do I want to get rid of? I want to get rid of the minus 5 and the times. So that means I'm now going to divide both sides by negative 5. Divide both sides by negative 5. That's now gone. Bye bye. So B is equal to 12 on negative 5, which just so happens to be exactly what we got there, although they've written the minus sign on the top. Doesn't matter. Minus sign can be on the top or the bottom, but the same thing there is b goes into that minus 2 and 0.4. And I'm done. I know, there's not a lot of examples. I'm really sorry. More and more practice you do, the better you will get. Ask your teacher, or if needs be, put some examples down. Leave me a comment below, and I'll do what I can to answer it. But I'm done. I'm Darren. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, let your mates know, and head to mathsguru.com where oh, this video will be, and downloadable notes. Otherwise, I hope to see you in another video. Take care, guys. I'll see you again soon. Mass Guru, signing out. Stay safe.